Hello, thank you for joining us today. We are featuring a wine called Aslina. It's by Nasiki Bayela, and she is from Africa. Um, but this particular wine is fermented in South Africa, and it's very rich. And what I love about this is that she's the first black female winemaker in the South African region, and she is doing amazing things this is one of her um, phenomenal wines that she has from that region which features some uh, layers of complex fruits some spices and cocoa and what I really like about this is that it has a history the history is that she actually named this after her grandmother so Aslina was her grandmother's name that is in honor of her and I really love that and then in addition to that you can see wine for the world is one of her partners all of their wines have stories to them they have wines that are so rich so wines for the world is going to be in the link below this particular wine spends about 16 months in oak um, it has so much going on in it so I am so excited to pair this with some of the fruits I'm going to be eating today the Chardonnay I cannot wait I'm already excited so I know it's going to be great and like I said it's a product of South Africa so how often do you get to say I had wine from South Africa Let's go ahead and see how it pairs today. Hi guys, it is your girl Tamara, also known as CoverGirl on Instagram, CoverGirl23. So first things first, like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that stuff. <laughs> Do that below. Please uh, go ahead and subscribe, tell your friends about it. Um, and I can't wait to, to share with you guys Aslina. Aslina is the wine that we're gonna be trying. So you saw it in the intro. Um, you get got the, some of the information. Her name is Nasiki. Um, she hails from South Africa, first female black winemaker in South Africa. Now that's phenomenal. I didn't learn that until I started to really dig into the wine. I just happened to be in the South African um, section of the, the specific wine store I was in in New York. And this is like a bonus. I bought this wine back in maybe July. So I'm just now popping it because I really, really wanted to to um, pair it with something. It didn't have pairing recommendations, so I really wanted to pair it with a good meal. So I actually cooked. I mean, I did the whole nine, guys. <laughs> I did the whole nine. So we are gonna do this wine right tonight. We're gonna do it for a throwback Thursday. I can't wait to try it, but please go ahead and get your favorite wine and let me get this wine. I'm gonna tell you more about it. I cannot wait, cannot wait. So go ahead and see how our pairing went. Hey guys, um, I am here. I have my meal as promised, as you can see, uh, the baked macaroni, the salmon, the scallops, and also the string beans. So I'm gonna try a full meal with this wine. But before I do that, I'm gonna need um, a glass. So I'll be right back <laughs> to get me a wine glass. I got everything but the wine glass. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got my wine glass. <laughs> that was funny, so I was just gonna try it without the wine glass. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I popped my cork about five minutes ago. I let it breathe a little bit. Um, I don't really like my, you don't have to decant white wines as I've said before. So I kind of just let it breathe just a little just to have the tannins and everything flow out. Um, it does have sulfates in it. So if you have um, an allergy to sulfates, I don't know why I'm pouring it like that. That was so amateur of me. Um, allergy or you don't like it maybe it's too much it's like acidic or something um, this won't be the wine for you unfortunately uh, so it does have sulfates and it's uh, like I said 12.5% uh, alcohol content I always give the alcohol content so people can know kind of what they're getting into and as usual we're gonna smell it so out reading up on it I did see that it's supposed to be a citrus type of wine um, it is Chardonnay so you know Chardonnay's are a little bit on the bolder side or white. They tend to be, um, when I say bold, they tend to be, you know, less fruity than maybe, you know, a Merlot or something like that. I'm not getting the fruit, you know, it smells, actually I am. I'm getting the fruit and it smells like a raspberry. Yeah, it's like a raspberry. Um, I'm getting wood. 
can't wait till I get an expert in this. This is going to be awesome. Um, but it's not sweet. It's not giving me that citrus aroma that it says um, it would have. Not for my particular nose, which isn't a bad thing. Um, that's good Chardonnay. So it's smoky. It's smoky. Yeah, I do. It does taste kind of like a raspberry. I'm getting a mix of citrus, but I can't pinpoint the type of berry. Um, I'm getting that, but I'm getting more of the smoke, which I like. Uh, typically, when I drink Chardonnays, they have a bitter ending to it. This one kind of rolls around. Yeah, when it hits your palate, it definitely, it's like a mix of, of a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff going on, going on already, and I haven't even eaten anything. So it's a, a lot of stuff going on as soon as you drink it, but it, it gives you a burst of energy, for, for lack of a better word. I really like that it made me want to drink more. Like, I, I really wanted to continue to kind of see what else I can figure out about the wine but so far on an empty palette it's really good so I think this wine will be a good a good wine to have at like uh, maybe game night something like that it's really relaxing it doesn't give me It kind of smells a little bit like a Riesling. So I think if you gave someone this who kind of likes that sparkling, <laughs> they wouldn't be able to tell just off the smell that it's wine. It does give me a Riesling. Yeah. As soon as I'm just like, it, it kind of tastes like a, or smells like a Riesling. Mmm. So the salmon that I cooked has um, some basil in it and then it has like a vanilla because I put vanilla extract in it I wanted to try that so I'm just trying all types of stuff so when I drink it with the wine it does this weird mix <laughs> it kind of tastes like a now it kind of tastes like an Asian top an Asian sauce um yeah, I'm getting uh, Asian, like, what is it called? Uh, the chicken. I don't eat it. General Souls chicken, kind of like that sweet, sour. Um, I don't know if it's the vanilla that I put in that's giving me the taste. But definitely when I mixed it with the salmon, it's giving me that. So now I'm going to taste a scallop and see. The scallops are just, um, I put red, I use like a red wine to, to cook it. So that's why it's kind of reddish a little bit. But it's regular seasonings inside of it. Oh my god. That's really good. Um, I also want to taste the mac. And it's really just to give you uh, an idea of the types of foods. So typically, from my experience, I like whites with uh, barbecues because I think that the sweetness of the barbecue or the tanginess or even the stickiness if you're having sticky chicken um, and then if you're having like barbecue ribs or something like that that smoked um, flavors that usually typically come with a barbecue I like those I like to pair those with the whites so for my scallops that's the reason why I kind of browned it I sauteed it in a pan because I kind of wanted to get a little bit of that that flavor I don't have a, a grill so I kind of wanted to get that barbecue filling with it just a little if I could and the pan did a really great job with searing that it's it's phenomenal and right off the bat it changed um, so from the salmon to the scallops the salmon was very low key. Like I said, it had a hint of vanilla. I got more of a, a sweetness, a tanginess to it. It was very, very 
um, a mellow, very, e very even float. With the scallop, with more of that bold, I guess either from the red sauce or from the searing, and it has, you know, it's, it's browner, and so it has that crispness to it. I'm getting more of that barbecue feel. So the, the white turned into a bold white now. So now when it hits my palate because of the mixture of the scallop, it hit my palate and it was bolder. Um, it tastes a little drier now, which is, you know, a huge difference. So as you can see, just pairing your, your wine with different types of foods, it'll give you a different taste. So if you have different flavors on your plate, as you're eating, kind of sip, taste, you can definitely see that the wine changes. The wine will always do a specific change compared, you know, uh, when you're pairing it with a specific flavor. So that's why they tell you to pair it with certain things if you want it to taste more, more of a citrus. So if you want it, I don't, I don't think you can get bolder than if you get a red wine and it's already a bold wine. I mean, it's just probably going to taste hot. <laughs> but if you like hot, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. But if you like hot, that's fine. Um, <laughs> power to you. But um, I give this an A+. Plus. So, Eslina um, Nasiki, I hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, I apologize. I love your wine. I love it. It's about $29.99. You'll see below I have all of the details where you can purchase it. I got this from a local store um, or a local winery or winery that kind of has um, different types of things. Total Wine does not have it. I looked. Um, but this particular wine store kind of has eclectic type of types of wines. And I, like I said, I got it from New York City when I was in New York City. Um, but I do have the website below. It's about three of them that you can look through, sift through, order it, order this wine. It's, it's really good. And then also, I'm celebrating a birthday. So you'll see these huge balloons behind me. <laughs> I turned 35 last week, went to Jamaica, got a whole tan. I'm like uneven everywhere. But um, I'm so, so thankful to have seen 35 years. And on his 35th birthday, I could not think of a better way and another wine to have than Eslina's wine, um, this particular Chardonnay. She does have other wines. I'm going to taste all of them. But this Chardonnay is a 10 out of 10 for me. It's, it's so smooth. Like I said, uh, tasting it with the different types of foods. I love bold. It's giving me that red wine feel. I can definitely see me taking this to a uh, family and friend's house this holiday season and really just sharing it with everyone um, because it's that good. It's really a great wine if you want to sit down and, you know, have you a glass and just kind of listen to some jazz and things of that nature. This is the wine that you want to taste. So, as Selena Chardonnay, click on the links below. I'm going to give, I give you all the information. Um, thank you so much for joining me on Glass Half Full. It's half full now, but it's definitely going to be empty by tonight. <laughs> by tonight on this throwback Thursday. Thursday, this is a black wine. A black wine, guys. I can't say it more than that. Black female from South Africa. Go ahead and support her. It's going to be completely worth it. When you get it, please let me know what you think about it. Let me know. Let me know if you liked it, if you didn't like it, and what if you didn't like it, what you didn't like, or if you do like it, what you do like or what you love about it. Because I personally love that um, it has an even tone, but that the boldness really comes out when I'm when you taste that that um, that charcoal flavor. It, that boldness just really hit the soft spot in me. That red soft spot. So if you like reds, this is a great Chardonnay for you guys to check out. Once again, like, share, comment. All of that good stuff. Subscribe below. Once again, this is Glass Half Full. This is Tamara, also known as CoverGirl23 on Instagram. And I will see you guys next time here on Glass Half Full. Good night. Have a good one.